Hi, this video will walk you through creating invoices in OnTarget. This is the final step in the billing process and is where the claims are generated. Once claims are generated, your assigned AIM Technologies biller will then submit them to the appropriate payers. The first step in creating invoices is to click on Batch Billing, which by default is under the Billing Desktop. This automatically pulls up the billing search grid. To see batch billing records, click on Search. This will give you an idea of all of the billing that is staged and ready for invoicing. Note the dollar amount and the unit count at the bottom. If you are not prepared to bill everything that is displayed, you can set any of the filters to restrict the batch billing results. This allows you to control what billing gets invoiced and when. Prior to creating invoices, be sure to scrub the data over to ensure the info is correct. It is much easier to make changes to the data at this stage. Most changes will not be made here, but rather back at the point of origin. For example, if the funding source ID or payer is incorrect, the information needs to be updated at the client record in the insurance section. Any changes to the actual service provided need to occur back at the note, a schedule, or time record, depending on what generated the billing. Delete the batch billing item first and then go make the changes. Once changes are completed, you'll recreate the batch billing through the time records desktop. Your assigned AIM biller can help guide you through any edits that need to be made. Also note that you can hit the export button to get this data in a printable format or to drop it into Excel for further sorting, filtering, or researching. Once the data is scrubbed and the appropriate filters are set to display the batch, you will click the Create Invoice button and select from one of two options. The first is From Selected. This allows you to create batch billing from individually selected batch records and is only enabled if records are selected. The other option is from all. This option creates batch billing from all time records currently visible in the grid. After the successful creation of claims, contact your AIM biller to notify them that the billing is prepared. They will then submit to the appropriate payers. The records disappear after the creation. To review the claims, go to the claims desktop and search by the date that you invoiced, meaning today's date. There may be some instances where you need to manually add a claim. Adding claims manually is not the typical process for generating claims. Claims are typically created from imported time associated with notes or schedules. In order to add a claim manually, go to the Claims Desktop and click on Add Claim. Enter the required information, which includes client name, the invoice date, service, service date, and total units. Once clicking on Save, the claim would be created. Should you have any questions, contact support by going to Options, Support, and Contact Support.